now that I'm all unickied, it would, it's weirdly warm in here at night because the heater thing does a well, because like the hallway thing in, so I was like horribly sweating all night last night. Like it's just, you kind of see, I, I need to wash this, it's gross. <laughs> um, but we'll do whites here pretty soon. Aaron's pillow needs to do it. He was, like I was up, I think at like 5.30 just, <sighs> <laughs> I don't know why it got so hot in the apartment. I really don't. But I keep trying to exchange the air, and I think I should during the middle of the day. Anyway, it's only 16 right now. It was like 10 last night. Less. 8. What are you doing? Why are you switching to hybrid? Oh, that's not Spotify. Um, I'm like, why are you doing that? I don't really like that song much anymore. That's why I don't listen to it. Yeah, it was like 10 last night. Anyways, um... I have a lot to do today. I'm going to swing by the gym, reserve a time at 4 o'clock, get some chest in, seeing if I can activate these and that stuff and get some blood flowing to them, uh, probably. So a couple things. I'm still going to vlog as I go throughout the day and we'll be at the gym, but I need to bring this stuff up. New Mott Rechelen came out and... Yeah, it's not looking pretty good. Where is my thing for Dutch News Puntenel? Uh, cafes and restaurants must now close their doors at 9 p.m. and everyone must be gone home by 10. Supporters are also being banned from both professional and amateur events for the three-week period. Sports canteens will also be closed, so I can't go in and get... I haven't been going in the canteen anyways, so I bring my own stuff. Uh, shops are to bring back the door policy to make sure the customers are keeping their distance. And, and in Amsterdam, The Hague, and Rotterdam, shops are being advised to require their clients to wear a face mask. Um, also to reintroduce periods twice a day when people with vulnerable health conditions can shop. Um, the economy, blah, 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 three weeks, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. So we're trying to, it's a really slow closing back up to see if something happens. And if it doesn't, it'll, we will go back to intelligent lockdown. <laughs> but read an intelligent lockdown um, video. That was the first day of intelligent lockdown. Um, it was weird. Uh, I did a social distancing lockdown day one, day two, day 100. And I just said, Iron him. Iron him Falcons. After that got posted, uh, in view of all developments regarding Corona, we as Falcons have decided not to participate in competitions until further notice. We play as an we play a national competition and a team consists of over 40 players. That means that we move through the Netherlands with large groups and we think it is irresponsible with the current situation. This also applies to the youth teams and blah, blah. Okay, so the Arnhem are out for competitions. So Hilversum Hurricanes. Uh, this is kind of the baseball thing. Most of, mostly baseball gets posted on this. Uh, starting tomorrow at 6 p.m., so today, uh, the new measures will start for three weeks. From then on, only athletes, trainers, and coaches at the complex. No spectators, no parents along in the line, and in the stands, and the cafeteria is closed. So we will still be having practices until I hear something on the absolute unmeldingen that says, uh, stay away, <laughs> basically. Um, so this goes in line with... Uh, uh, <laughs> This goes in line with the uh, um, what I said yesterday. Even if games don't happen, we will still be practicing. Ah, but I thought I'd figure up. Oh, second. Oh, I'm just catching up on so much stuff. I did see all those comments from yesterday because I was intending, because I knew there was going to be a press conference last night. And that did not, and I meant to record after, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think about it. Like, the camera was right next to me on the couch, but I was too busy eating tacos when I got the English translation of the thing. Yeah, practice will continue if games do not. Uh, Austin White, this man's a beast because tries his hardest even though, even when times are hard. Thank you. 
Uh, Wyatt Jensen, what league do you play in? Obviously, I answered it at the AFBN Eredivisie. It's in the Netherlands, the top league. Uh, Nike Patty, really weird thing. Your channel has a lot of um, pranks and trolling people. It's weird. Um, how do you continue to make videos even when your views aren't going up? I love your motivation. And like I, like I said in the comment, I don't do it for views per se. The views are nice because it shows that people actually didn't, but I, I do it because I like making videos. I was making videos with like five views like every day for like you guys are all looking at like the 13,000 subscribers now but until like three years ago I didn't have anything over like 400 like maybe like it, maybe I'd gotten to a thousand was like super happy but then the you the suit up video went nuts in like that June of 2016 well we're four years now but yeah Mm -hmm. It just, and then that took off, and then every football season that starts up in the States, um, it's spiked more and more, and everything keeps growing. Um, but yeah, so I will check you guys out later. Okay, uh, yes, the Mott Raglan came down. Uh, I don't think there's anything changed about the gym, other than they have a wall up right now about things. Um, I'm heading back on the bike, because it's a quick and easy thing to get here. It's a fairly straight shot. They're still doing a lot of construction around the university intersection, but that's just how it goes. Um, I'll talk to you guys more about the Mott Ray Club when I get up to Oastport. Okay, so not much has changed at the bakery other than the fact that it's lunchtime and I spend more time in line than I did getting here. That's including stopping by the gym. <laughs> FYI. But apparently the children are out in force right now. It's 12.15, so their lunch is happening also. I'm gonna check my porterhouse so I can see what their new rules are gonna be. Okay, so just as I thought the regulation says, since the game starts at seven, I'll be able to get in before they have to close the doors, but I have to be gone by 10 and well, that's about half time. <laughs> Even though they don't show the commercials, they still have the uh, blank screen of, uh, we will be back soon for um, their stuff, for the commercial breaks. They just don't air the commercials here. I'm gonna drink this thing and my orange juice and I'm gonna swing by the butcher so anyways um, in terms of sports regulations we have not much that's happening um, Arnhem has stopped from coming to competitions uh, I don't know if this is an anomaly amongst the eight air divisi teams or if this is going to be a domino when you have one of I mean even in the NFL if one team says we're not gonna do competitions does that what does that do for the other 31 does, you know, does one of 31, one of 32 affect more than one of eight? Uh, I mean, I made the joke yesterday about, the other day about Crusaders bowing out, we just promote another team, but then it gets funky. I'm not looking forward towards this, what the decision is gonna come from the AFBN, because if, yeah. Um, let me get to the butcher after drinking my stuff, and maybe we'll talk a little bit more. So in the process of heading home, Talking to Aaron, waiting for him to get out of one of his numerous meetings today. The uh, AFBN finally put out a big old barf up about what they were doing. You want me to read it to you guys in Dutch? No. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, like Arnhem's pulled out of competitions, like I said, the typical normal meetings. Nick is going crazy on the GTL because he doesn't actually come to practices because he's taking time away for a career or anything, but he is obviously missing social contact like everybody else. That's why I go back on comments. That's why I want to talk more because I'm one of those weird lonely people. That's a bench bar. I'm going to bench, but I will find it later. I have a limited time at the gym and I don't want to like waste it. <laughs> so basically, so I'm now going over here to lay down and stretch my hamstrings because those are always nice to stay stretched out. And since I didn't come last week at all, I've been just trying to do it on the counter. Anyways, so hectic day, running a lot of errands. minutes. 
It's okay, so. Details going crazy. Um, I was meaning what I wanted to do earlier is bring up the AFBN's site, which is no longer on our search list. And I was going to share it to my athlete page, but it feels like it's kind of cheating if I put it up on the athlete page. And I mean, okay, so from now on, all tackle and flag competitions will be canceled until 19 October. 2020. Let's see, reading it right here. Uh, this means that no competitions, no scrimmages, no friendlies, like the uh, Flavo Crusaders game on, on Sunday. No joint training sessions, that would be similar to like when the bros from West Region Outlaws come out to us, that would be a joint training. Um, are allowed until 19 October. Uh, within their association, you can train, but the public is not allowed, and the canteen should remain closed as long as municipalities continue to decide this way. So technically, Hillbrook could say no, and then we can't train. But that's it. We're limited down to Hamenta Hill for some. Hill for some. Uh, subject to the next press conference that will likely take place on October 19th. They're planning to have the flag day on the 25th. So let me go to the GTL. Or not the GTL. The schedule's not in there. Info. Read more. I want to read more, not edit. I don't care about editing. Come on. So that means that the 18 October Flavo Phantoms home game is cancelled. It is entirely possible that we may be able to move it to the very next Sunday. Um, if they don't have another game scheduled, I don't think so. Everything seems to be two or three weeks spaced apart. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much what's going on now. What sucks is I feel like I should have been the ED, I should have been the fool. Not the fool. I really it was weird as I did it once and I was like, hey, this was actually pretty fun. And then like, they wanted me to come out and line a field, and my scheduled time to line the field was going to be our home game of the playoffs, or something like that. I go, I, because I showed up at practice, I got to line the field later in the schedule, um, but then we wound up not continuing past the playoffs. That was when, you know, that, um, I mean, I could have lined the field, it doesn't take contact to do that, but we lost it, Arnhem, so. And then, uh, after that, I was going to line the field sometime in like May. I was like, yay, get to line the field in May. Hopefully that's during an actual game, you know, during the actual season, not during the playoff. Nope, Corona. So now there's getting, now I was able to, now I was on the schedule to line the field for the 18th and we're not having the game. To be fair, like I said, everything going to be moved forward a week because we're going to have that's also why I'm probably taking Thursday off of practice because I noticed this whole side of this arm while I was doing benching, like was stiffening up and I was like, because that part of my palm seriously hurt. Like I push my hand up and I pick the bar up and then like my, hand, my whole arm would just start shaking because of the sheer amount of like pulsing pain going down the, the left side. So I don't know what's wrong. Nerves, pinch nerve, cracked bone, probably not a cracked bone, and, and not, not anything to that arm. Anyways, that's the news, that's the vlog. Um, always comment below if you guys want to talk about something, 